Hey, this is Natalie Newhart. Um, so here we go, 16.1, uh, first workout of the year. Definitely was a little nervous going into this, as we all are. Worked so hard all year, and um, you know, wanted to have a good showing, especially on that on a workout that was I knew was going to be good for me. Um, so, a um, couple things I did prior to this event is uh, obviously I studied the um, workout that China and Emily did at the live event. Um, and then I ended up actually signing up for the OPEX Fitness. Um, they had like a 2016 open prep guide. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt, it was like 10 bucks. It doesn't hurt to hear, you know, all the different types of information that's going to be out there. Um, and took some of their information as far as warm up strategy and as well as nutrition um, as far as preparing for this event. So, um, as far as nutrition, I just kind of did like my basic breakfast, with, which is like cereal um, and some protein, like a protein drink. Um, and then I had some type of fat, I can't remember, maybe some peanut butter or something like that. And then I didn't eat too much before the workout because um, OPEX was saying that if you're more of a sort of a engine type person that it'd uh, be in your benefit to actually fast a little bit before the workout rather than eating more carbs before the workout. So um, that's what I ended up doing. Um, drove two hours down to Denver to work out with these guys over at Backcountry CrossFit. It's a great environment. Um, and uh, great facility. So drove down there, listened to some motivation videos as I usually do before any type of competition type event. Um, get myself fired up, you know, try to think about some mantras that I want, you know, that I want in my head during the workout, except actually this time I didn't really pick a specific mantra. Um, but generally one that sticks in my head is hard work, dedication, and I'll just con continue to like say that in my head. Just hard work, dedication, hard work, dedication. Uh, anytime things are starting to get rough, it's just an easy thing to kind of think about, you know, just reminds me of everything, all the hours that I've put into um, training and stuff. So anyways, um, as far as preparing for this event, I also did a warm up that was taken from OPEX Fitness. Uh, I started off with a 10 minute assault bike, just nice and easy. Um, just kind of get myself warmed up, get myself moving. And then I did basically three rounds of the actual workout. So um, the lunge, burpee, lunge, pull up. Um, but before each round, I'd actually do 10 cows on the bike, kind of at a sprint pace, just so I could get an, a, an idea of how this workout was going to feel 10 minutes in, you know. Um, so my goal was to have like about a 120 to a 130 pace per round here, um, except I was a little rushed in the warm up because uh, I was going at the schedule of everybody else. So um, I didn't really get to practice a good round to see what exactly was going to be a good time for me. So I kind of winged it, um, you know, at the at the beginning of the you know. By the time it was three, two, one, go, I wasn't still sure what kind of pacing I was going to hold, but I was just going to base it off what the what the first round felt like. So, my first round, um, I did get some split times by a friend that was uh, looking at the clock the whole time. Uh, first round was about 110, and I continued to hold that 110 pace. I think for about four rounds. So, right here at four minutes, I'm still holding a 110 pace. However, I am resting about probably 10 to 15 seconds after that pull-up bar. Um, it just seemed to work really well for me to, you know, kind of go hard on the lunge, um, kind of take the burpees, not at a crazy pace, but at a, just at a moderate pace, lunge it back pretty strong, hit the pull-up bar, that was my rest for sure. Um, and then just take about 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds to regain my breath. Um, and that's just what I continue to do. I think, like I said, I held about a 110 pace for the first four rounds. And then I dropped down to, I think, about a 120 pace from round four to round 10. And then after that, I think it, it may have dropped off a little bit more to about 125, 130 um, 
uh, for round 11 and 12. Um, so, so one of my biggest concerns uh, approaching this workout was how to pace it. Um, a lot of people, you know, from a lot of the different um, sort of blogs that I read and, you know, just from all the information that all the tips for 16.1 was all about pacing and like not going out too hard and to think of this as a 5k race and you know so to pace it um, however you know you don't want to be pacing it too much I felt like so my biggest concern was how to not go too slow how to get like at least you know hold a strong pace the entire way through and usually I'm, I'm fairly good at that especially with something like this where it's body weight movements so I definitely wanted to um, use that to my advantage um, so finding the right pace was definitely definitely key and I felt like I could have actually done a better job at that in my warm-up if I had a little bit more time I would have been able to plan exactly what I wanted each round and then how much rest I wanted so I honestly pretty much winged it um, from the get-go and just went by feel this whole time. And it turned out to work all right. Um, I think that I could have maybe toned it down just a little bit and had quicker transitions rather than resting so long after the pull-up bar. Um, but um, some uh, things that I was thinking about, like, you know, in the pull-ups, that was going to be my rest period for sure. Um, they're quick, they're easy, I wanted to make them as quick as I could, try to make up some time there, try to relax myself as much as possible on those pull-ups, just, you know, keep my head up, try to breathe, um, and just take advantage of like that eight seconds, you know, of, of pull-ups. Um, going into the lunges, I felt pretty strong, because I felt like I had that, that rest from the pull-ups. So my lunge down always felt really good. I tried to think about powering through each lunge, like strong legs. Um, I do a lot of lunges, a lot of single leg movement, so um, I felt really good about them. Uh, my biggest thing is just making sure that I hit extension with my hip. Last thing I want to do is work this hard and then get called out for not opening up my hip. So it's really a, a big intention of mine or big focus to make sure I was standing up tall while trying to move quickly. Um, on the burpees, you know, it, I know it's just it's just a grind. That was probably the worst part for me and usually I actually look forward to burpees but compared to the lunges and the pull-ups, the burpees were the hardest. Um, just trying to keep a consistent pace and my method with the burpees is I've always like just stepping up, step back, step up, and then do a 180 over the bar. It seems to be um, just kind of like the most relaxed way for me to get work done um, in, a, in a small amount of time. So if it's something that I'm pacing, I'll just step back, step up. So it was kind of right about this time, about nine minutes in, maybe 10 minutes in, um, I looked over the clock, realized that it was only about halfway through the workout, um, started to get uh, a little panicked, just slightly, just not sure if I could hold that pace. Um, but I just continued to, you know, basically continue the same pace. I tried to continue the same pace that I was doing. Um, but I can tell you that I was definitely starting to get a little nervous that I wasn't going to be able to hang on to it. Um, so some things that I were thinking about, especially when it came to those burpees. Um, was just that, you know, this is a workout that's in my favor. This is something that's probably 10 times easier than what I do on a daily basis. Um, usually the workouts that I do at home, you know, in my training, first of all, I have a couple of them a day, and usually I'm working on stuff that I'm not so good at. And it hurts a lot more worse, or hurts a lot worse, like stuff on the assault bike or the rower, just brutal intervals. Um, for conditioning so compared to this workout I just kept telling myself that this is easy like this is nothing compared to what I do you know on a daily basis so um, just keep on grinding through it keep on moving and reminding myself that you know this is what I've worked so hard for um, 
So it was right about 15 minutes into this workout. I had a buddy that was actually um, kind of calling out my split times, which was really nice because I couldn't do the math on my own just by looking at the clock. Um, but about 15 minutes in, my buddy shouted over to me that I had to start picking it up, picking up my pace. Um, and you know, 15 minutes into this video, you'll look up, you'll probably see me look over and be like, "What?" Like giving this look that, "Are you freaking kidding me?" I feel like I'm going, you know, I'm doing everything I can just to hold this pace. I don't think I can pick it up right now and hold that for another five minutes. You know, my idea was to. Um, at least start to pick up my pace when I had about a round left or two minutes left. Um, so apparently I did tip, pick up my pace at about 15 minutes in. Um, it didn't feel like I did, but maybe just, you know, he said my time did, my split time did get a little shorter. So that was good. Um, but uh, once I realized that I only had about one more round left in this workout, uh, that's when I knew I could turn it on. You know, I, I know I can always push, I can push that one round, la that last round pretty hard. Um, you know, two or three rounds, I don't know. You know, I don't know if I could hold that pace. But, um, so yeah, just uh, gave it my all, all the way to the end. Focused on good, strong movement and uh, utilizing that, that rest as much as I could. All right, guys, so we're just going to check out a post-workout interview that I did. Um, here it is. Like, when I started the workout, I was still breathing hard for my warm-up. Oh, really? <laughs> so I was like, not sure if I'm doing the right pace or what. So, But what helped a lot, like I'm really good with, is kind of going out hard and then rest. That 10 seconds is just like, okay, I'm ready again. It won't even get shown until they verify it, okay. which they probably won't verify it till Monday. I mean, they could do it, but like usually they verify it all at once, and they don't want your scores getting out and people trying to beat them. So it's very secret. Yeah. Well, it's uh, don't worry about it. Yeah. Right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. So did you stay? I mean, every time I saw it, it seemed like you did eight unbroken on your. Oh yeah. No, no. You're just like clink, clink, clink. Yeah, that's easy, dude. That's, that's the easiest part. Yeah. What was the Is that part? the easiest part? What's the hardest part for you? You know, the, the, uh, the burpees were probably the hardest part. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's just hard to jump over. It's just annoying. Yeah. Once you're you know? down, you're like, I just want to stay here. Yeah, and like, I tried to switch up my legs. I'd go, yeah, yeah nice job. Yeah. How'd you do? Uh, 10, 5. Yeah, hop on a bike. Nice. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's really good, dude. The girl's got 11. You were right behind them. My pull-ups were great. The ones were fine, but I was there too. Yeah, no, see? She said the burpees were the worst part too. Like crawling. The burpees like, sucked. Is crawling to stand up. <laughs> like, oh. yeah. And like, I have a better side of stepping up, you know, my right leg. Yeah. And I would try to do like at least three or four on my left. Yes. And it just, it just kind of, it made my rhythm off. My left at all. Yeah. It's weird. Burpees, I went down and I slammed my face on the ground. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> Who yeah, beat, beat your body up for the rest. Forty something? Yeah, it's just common. Good job, dude. Yeah, it's killing. Oh, yeah. 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 See, you know, one thing I um with pull-ups, I look up because if I look down, it's weird. So I look up. And I do just breathe. I just relax. Yeah. You were right there with me, Nick. Sorry. I yeah, dude. I know. I think I looked over around like a minute nine. I'm like, oh, I'm not even halfway. <sighs> How am I gonna hold this? I don't know if I can hold it. You know, those things go start going through your head. I don't know if I can do this. Every time, man. Every workout. Let it go. Good job. It's good to see you. Thanks, you too. Every time. Um, I won't be here the next two, but I will here, be here for the last two. Okay. Yeah, Where four or five. Meet? Ohio. Oh yeah. Yeah. Does that look okay? Four o'clock. Yeah, I like it. I mean, the earlier the better for me. I do not like working out at night. And I got to do that out there. I was going to go earlier today. Yeah. Yeah. Because like. Yeah, no, I like it. I mean, yeah, I, I like the whole energy and stuff, so I wouldn't want to go yeah, at a different. 
time. How are you? It's the second time I almost fell off. Like we've done it so much, it's so comfortable, you don't have to think about it. Yeah. Like taking your dad's is like you're ready to go. Yeah. Cool. Good. And, and on this one in particular, it's a good yeah, I mean, Actually, doing it together, yeah. and like that's what we always do. Yeah. It's like a really good way to start. Well, so it's not boring anymore? No. <laughs> like, that's why I'm telling you, because I was like, Because it's quick. Did she tell you what happened the last time she mentioned it was boring? No. We had a dance party. <laughs> Because it was too boring. <laughs> I mean, no, that's why I'm telling you. Because I get excited about it when we started, but like. You know, I find I do that, if, even if I'm in here on my own and do it, I will do that same thing. Yeah, I, I don't even know. I mean, it's really good, but it's more the like, the routine of it. Yeah. Right. You don't have to think about it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was surprising me. I was like, oh, you guys get a, get a personal warm, warm up, huh? I had no idea. <laughs> But yeah, it's not every, every day. And we do it nights too. So yeah. the night happens. Yeah. Yeah. It's just nice. Get us ready. It's everything. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's I like having it's routine. perfect for like, when we get to reach it's gonna be perfect because we know that's ten minutes. Yeah. Right. And we it's hit quick. the movement and then we're ready to go. We know we're ready. So we do it yeah. every day. Yeah. And it can be done anywhere. So it can be done in the stadium, it can be done in Dallas. Yeah, that's cool. Mm. Yeah, do you guys need me to judge? I will? If you, yeah. If you, Is that cool? If you want that, but yeah. Um, give, me like, give me like two minutes of your time. And okay. Do this. As you started the workout, what was the first thing that go through your mind? Um, first round, what was going on? First thing was just kind of, shoot. I don't know, I'm kind of more, having have like a lot of anxiety right in the beginning, you know, my heart's pumping. <clears throat> um, just trying to focus on really strong, solid movement, you know, tight core, driving hard through the lunge, just to make that part easy. Um, I just try to like, find my pace, you know, where I know it's like a strong pace, but I can still control my breath. So, my goal for the first round was just kind of see what my time would be. And hopefully it was under 130, which it was. I think it was like 115 or something like that. Um, and once I realized that I could do a round at 115, I felt a lot more comfortable because I knew, okay, I had like 10 seconds to rest before I started my next round. And I knew I could hold that for a while, but. How long, how many rounds did you hold that 115, 120 pace? Um, I got it written down. I think I actually held a 110. 110 for four rounds and then I went to 120 through round 10, and I think that's where I started to drop off to about 130 um, for the rest of the rounds, something like that. What round was the hardest? Was it halfway through or was it the last? You know, um, the hardest round, when it started to feel pretty hard was when there was five minutes left on the clock, and Josh said, all right, right now is the time to pick it up, time to turn it on. I'm like, five minutes, I don't think so, dude. Like, no, I don't, you know, it like, kind of got me like, uh, like a little like frazzled because. Were you able to pick it up? I did not try to pick it up that much until I did. Okay, so apparently I did, but I felt like I just kind of held that pace for another round. And then once I, I knew I only had like one more full round to go, like, I was like, all right, I can do that. You know, one more round. like. I'm gonna turn it on. So that was probably when there was like two or three minutes left. Two minutes that I really turned it on, so. What was going through yeah. your mind? Last round, no rep. Um, it was a good call. My knee didn't touch the ground, so. Uh, stepped back, I mean, yeah. It, it sent me back probably a full rep overall, but um, I'm, you know. Just deal with it, adapt, and keep on going. So it didn't actually bother me that much. I thought it was a good call, and uh, just continue going. So, so I'm getting better with that. That's good.